it's gone under the radar and now we understand it is because the imaging equipment technology. Now the element, the, the, the ability of ultrasound and the ability to look at in vivo fascia, to go inside a live body with cameras and look at this system, we can do that now. And after 500 years of dissection, we never realized the fascia tissue uh, is such a big part of the body. I mean, there's surgeons that would operate and just cut it, move it away, think it's just kind of filler material, kind of like packing material. That's what they thought for the last 500 years. It's not until 20, 30 years ago that people are saying, wow, there's something here. And that's why I, we run cadaver courses to kind of show and when we dissect fresh cadavers, uh, you can definitely see in bomb cadavers, it's hard to really understand it. And then once once you know you, you lose all the water, like the, the, the elements of the tissue change dramatically. So even in cadaver study, it's not like when it's live tissue and, and what it can do and how it can perform. But the reason we know it now is because of the imaging equipment, the in vivo study, the MRIs that we can look at it now and, and look at how dynamic it is and, and what it does. And it's, it's technology that allowed us to identify it.